U.S. President Donald Trump is set to vacate White House in a little under two weeks, but the narrow time frame isn't deterring lawmakers who want him impeached over Wednesday's deadly riots at the U.S. Capitol building. They believe Trump was largely responsible and Twitter feels the same way. It has permanently suspended Trump's account, citing, quote, the risk of further incitement of violence. The uh, consequences of Wednesday's heinous uh, scenes that we saw at the U.S. Capitol continue to play out here in Washington. Apart from the announcement of the death of the police officer from Capitol Hill, uh, there is moving political news here uh, going into the weekend. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, the uh, House Speaker, uh, Democrat, announcing there will be an article of impeachment and also uh, looking up, set up a committee to invoke the 25th Amendment that would uh, remove the president uh, from office if the cabinet did so and uh, both houses agreed with a two-thirds majority. Uh, the article of impeachment uh, is pretty simple. It's basically saying that the uh, president incited uh, what we are seeing as an insurrection uh, on Wednesday. I mean, his speech uh, on Wednesday here in front of the White House before the mob uh, attacked and invaded the Capitol uh, was pretty uh, blunt. It's going to be uh, very interesting to see how quickly that can uh, proceed. He's already been impeached. Uh, can they impeach him and hold a trial uh, before he leaves office in less than two weeks? Uh, quite incredible. Uh, you know, President Trump knew that his cabinet uh, supporters and others were moving against him on Thursday when he came up with that video statement saying there would be a smooth transition of power. He's also announced that he won't be at the inauguration uh, on January the 20th for Joe Biden, uh, uh, basically tweeting this to all of those who have asked, I will not be going to the inauguration on January the 20th. We understand from White House officials here he'll be leaving with First Lady uh, Melania Trump uh, the day before for Mar-a-Lago and sitting uh, this one out. Uh, that's probably a good idea considering the scenes we saw on Wednesday from his uh, uh, supporters. Uh, also, the resignations continue and criticism from all sides. Uh, uh, Lisa Murkowski, the senator from Alaska, Republican, has basically said he should resign uh, before uh, uh, January the 20th. She's also questioning her own position uh, in the Republican Party. There are rumors that the communications uh, uh, guru of, uh, of Trump, Hope Hicks, longtime confidant, could leave, as well as the cabinet ministers that we've announced and more and more uh, low-level uh, officials as well. Uh, increasingly, too, there's pressure uh, uh, from uh, the president-elect Joe Biden in a stinging a uh, speech and question and answer session. He basically uh, said he'd never seen anything like it. Uh, and uh, while not necessarily backing impeachment, said it was up to Congress to decide, uh, laid into uh, personally Ted Cruz, the uh, uh, Republican uh, senator from Texas for spreading conspiracy theories, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and others. And he also said this. This had the active encouragement of a sitting president of the United States and the way in which the breakdown in security occurred needs to be thoroughly investigated. He is not fit to serve. He's one of the most incompetent presidents in the history of the United States of America. So we'll see how this plays out in the next coming days. Uh, we know uh, that this is an unprecedented time in American politics. Uh, the president has promised a smooth transition, but it's been anything but smooth so far. Nathan King, CGTN at the White House.